Let's practice simplifying exponents when we also have coefficients, the big fat numbers out in front. So 2x to the third, y to the fourth, z to the eighth, over 12x to the fourth, y to the fifth, z to the eighth. Now we have two different sets of rules here. Ignore the variables and just look at to the fraction 2 over 12. Doesn't 2 over 12 reduce? Then look just at your variables. The rules here are that we want to subtract 3 minus 4, 4 minus 5, 8 minus 8. Let's try it. 2 twelfths does reduce. They both divide by 2. The 2 becomes a 1 and the 12 becomes a 6. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, meaning that your x's will be left over in the denominator with an exponent of 1. 4 minus 5 is also negative 1. That means your y's, you'll have 1 left over, but it's also going to have to move to the basement. 8 minus 8 is 0. There won't be any z's left at all. When you clean it all up, you end up with the answer 1 over 6xy. Remember, we don't write the 1's as exponents. They should be invisible. Here's a second problem for us to look at. Again, with coefficients. Think about it. What should you do first? Oh yeah, I'm going to ignore the variables and focus my mind on just my fraction, 14 over 26. What do 14 and 26 both divide by? Good. Now, ignore the coefficients. Just look at the variables. X's are lined up, Y's are lined up, Z's are lined up. So it's 8 minus 5, 4 minus 9, and 12 minus 14. Let's scratch that out and see what happens. The 14 and the 26 do both divide by 2, so you get a 7 and a 13. 8 minus 5 is 3, and it's positive, so the X's will be still on the top. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. That negative tells me that my y's are going to end up in the denominator. And 12 minus 14 is negative 2. Again, my z's will end up in the denominator. My final answer is 7x to the third over 13y to the fifth z squared.